Hi and welcome back to Half of Heidi or if this is the first video that you've seen of mine, welcome to my channel. Um, a bit about me and why I'm making these videos in case this is your first video. I'm 35, I live in Queensland, Australia. Um, on the 8th of November I'm scheduled to have a vertical sleeve gastrectomy with Dr. Adib at the Wesley Hospital in Brisbane. Um, I'm currently 188 kilograms and I'll talk about my weight uh, in a little bit um, which I think is no not I think it is 414 pounds I'm five foot eight which is 171 ish centimeters I actually haven't measured myself since high school so I really don't know what my height is um, did I say I'm 35 I'm married um, I now have three fur babies um, on the weekend, we actually adopted another uh, dog. Anyway, I won't talk about that too much because that's not the purpose of my channel, but I just wanted to mention her because she's adorable. And previously I've said I've got two fur babies, now I've got three. Um, so I've made a list to talk about this time as well as what I did in my last video because that definitely helped me keep on track. But it is actually quite a long list, so see how I go with the 15 minute mark goal that I've been trying to set for myself um, okay so I want so I mentioned before about my weight I wanted to talk about that so my husband very kindly gave me a new set of scales that can actually weigh me um, because I'm over like I think the, like the first lot of scales the maximum was like 120 kilograms and then the next one was 150 and I obviously was gaining gaining weight and I reached the capacity that my scales could could weigh me at uh, so he very kindly bought me a set of scales that had a 200 kilogram weight capacity um, so when I had my weigh-in at the surgeon's office for the initial consultation I was 188 kilograms which was um, 13 kilos heavier than I thought I was like because I had also had a weigh-in at a metabolic clinic 12 months ago and I was 175 then so I, I didn't really know what I was but I kind of assumed I'd put on weight because I had quit smoking and um, replaced smoking with cigarettes to some extent sorry replaced cigarettes with food to some extent so I, I kind of expected I was going to have put on weight so I've had a bit of a weight fluctuation, but I think that's completely normal. So um, a couple of days ago, I weighed myself and I was like 186 point something. And then um, today I weighed myself and I was like 189 point something. So I think when you're around 100 and, the 188 kilogram mark, a couple of kilos up or down, I don't really think actually makes that much difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, certainly I don't feel the difference in whether it's up or down in that sort of a range so I'm not going to beat myself up about it um, I was actually reading um, someone's comment on one of the Facebook groups that I'm part of and they were talking about how they are like basically eating whatever they want and binging now that they know that they're going to have the surgery um, and I thought yeah I am so doing that there's things that I would never eat as much of or I have a bandage to avoid um, that I'm suddenly going well I'm not going to eat it after you know seven weeks when I have had the surgery so chow down why not have it now sure so yeah I, I'm totally not surprised if I actually do put on a little bit of weight before um, I even get to the OptiFast stage um, so I don't know I don't really want to put on any more weight because I guess any more weight is you know potential for stretched skin and I've already got enough of that don't need any more so I think I just need to yeah take stock and yeah not go so overboard um, then the other thing I mentioned in my last video was um, investigating a personal trainer so that I had somebody lined up post-op um, I actually met with a local personal trainer who works out of her home um, she's very down to earth um, very grounded and real like she herself isn't um, 
like she's not stick thin and she, she's she's but she's obviously very fit and she was telling me that her philosophy um is more focused on fitness than weight loss that she believes that if you're fit and active eat the right thing weight loss is the outcome and that it's not about and you should be enjoying the fitness process and not about um getting so focused on the weight loss. So she does, she believes in the measurement and she believes in weight loss, like um, measuring weight loss, but she doesn't think that that should be the only uh, victory. And I guess we talk about that a lot in the weight loss community from what I've started to gather now that I feel like I'm slowly making my entry into the community. Um, we talk a lot about non-scale victories and things that we had either previously not been able to do or not felt comfortable doing or... Um, so that gelled really well with me, her philosophy on fitness, etc. Um, she also asked me a lot of questions about my mobility and what I'm capable of. So can I get down on the ground and up again unaided? Um, and I was like, hmm, good question. Because like whenever I go to the beach with my husband, he definitely has to pull me up um, off the sand. <laughs> um, and do I get like acid reflux if I'm lying down? Because um, obviously I'm thinking, oh my god, if she's going to do a sit-up, I'm going to die. Um, sh yeah, how my knees, all that kind of stuff. And we were talking about like what is some good um, low-intensity or low-impact um, weight, not weight loss, um, exercise options for me to start off with. Because as I've mentioned numerous times in my previous videos, uh, I really can only do about five minutes of walking before my back um, and now my ankle started playing up again um, kicks out so that was yeah that was really good I left though feeling really scared um, like she was saying how the sessions that she runs are only tw uh, no, 30 minutes sorry um, and I left thinking what am I going to be able to actually do now in a 30 minute session um, and then I just started thinking about, like, am I going to break down and cry? Am I going to be like one of those people that you see in, like, you know, the Biggest Loser TV shows and all that sort of stuff who the minute they're pushed past some physical pain barrier, um, you know, they have a breakdown. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to be that person. But at the same time, I feel like I can avoid starting to exercise like that. Like, I'll never... Let's put it this way, nothing ever grows inside your comfort zone. So if I don't push myself to dip my toes in the water, I'm like, what am I doing this for then? Um, the only thing I'm thinking now is when do I start? Do I wait for post-op when I've lost just even 20 kilos? I think that would make a world of difference for my back um, and my ankles. Um, so I don't know if any, if anyone's got any advice, I really, really am open to hearing it. Um, I'm a little, oh yeah, I'm feeling a little bit lost, a bit confused with that decision. Um, I guess I could always just go for a session now and see what it's like and, um, just hope that if it is, like if it goes badly, like if I end up, you know, a crying mess on the floor, that it won't put me off going again. Anyway, um, what was cool though was that my husband um, has sort of helped me plan starting to move more stuff. So he's going to help me make sure that there's certain things that I've done in a day so that I'm not quite so sedentary. So, you know, even just like going outside and walking around the house and watering the plants and all that kind of stuff. And, um, He's been encouraging me uh, to come with him to the shops and um, like go for like a short walk um, around the shops and that kind of stuff. So he's yeah, he's really lovely. Um, I'd actually like you to get to meet him. He's really he's really amazing. I really I'm so lucky. I know I'm so lucky. And actually, our ten year uh, anniversary from when we met is coming up. So I've um. I'll have to organise something for that. Although he's probably watching this video now, so he now you know, honey. I'm probably going to organise something and it's not going to be a surprise. But anyway, um, 
then, so he took me down to the shops and um, I was wanted to, cause I wanted to buy some clothes to work out in because I really didn't have anything. So I bought some leggings and some singlet tops, like some sort of thick sleeved, not, uh, yeah, sleeved? I don't know what you call them, strapped uh, tops, but still sleeveless, which is like, not like me to go outdoors with nothing, no sleeves, but you know, whatever. Um, and some socks and some sports bras and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I think by the time I managed to get all of that in my basket, um, my back had given out, so I <laughs> collapsed pretty much, sat down in the shoe department. I was actually in Target, a Target. I sat down in the shoe department and um, my husband, his name's Matt, came over and found me, thank God. Um, he'd been off doing some super cheap auto car stuff and um, very kindly took my basket and paid for my goods while I hobbled out of the store and <laughs> found another seat between the store and the car that I could have a, a sit on and then made it back to the car. So what was cool though was um, like ordinarily he would like go get the car and pick me up at the like the exit um, but he encouraged me to you know walk to the car with him and um, he walked slow enough for me so that was really nice. What else? Um, another thing I've done in this week is design a wall planner. So again, my husband has got all these great suggestions, um, was saying, um, like he saw me searching for um, a way to keep track of everything for the next seven weeks and then obviously maybe 12 months, maybe more, we'll see how I go, um, post-op. And I was just, you know, saying that what I was finding wasn't right for me and what I wanted to track when it came to journals and planners and that kind of stuff. So he actually suggested, um, why don't you design it yourself and I'll take the um, design down to Officeworks and get it printed up on a big poster for you. I was like, that's a great idea. Um, so I've done that. So I've designed an A0 sized um, wall planner. It'll actually fit the whiteboard behind me so it'll be really big um, and it's uh, broken up into like sections so it's got a 14 month calendar like it like literally the 14 months so it's got October this year all the way through to November next year um, so that I can keep track of like just the pre-op it'll be like the five weeks or four or five weeks pre-op so it'll have like the pre-op diet and all that sort of stuff in there and appointments with the nutritionist and all that. And then I can track like how many weeks post-op, but I can also do like my weekly weigh-ins with my um, my weight and BMI, how much have I lost since last week versus op, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so I, yeah, I'm really excited I got to do that. Um, it's also got these um, checklist boxes. So... Um, one of them is like a five kilo weight loss. So it starts at, I think, 190 kilos and then goes like 185, 180, 175, 170, etc. And as I'm losing the five kilo marks, I can check them off. And I'm going to figure out like what is some sort of non-food uh, celebration that I can do at each of those five kilo uh, marks so that I can reward myself uh, for every of those victories, even though they are scale victories. Um, I've also got a checklist, which is the same idea in terms of clothing sizes. So starting at uh, 28, um, you know, then obviously all the way down. And then the last one is a five minute increasing increments of how I, how much exercise I can do. So at the moment I'd be ticking off like the five minute mark and then the next one's obviously 10 and 15 and 20 so I can take that progress as well um, and then I've got like a whole heap of these um, little boxes uh, to, try, to literally write in my um, non-scale victories or NSVs um, as they happen um, and then because I'm me I will probably you know use a bunch of stickers and colour code things and write with pretty gold inked pens and all that sort of jazz because I just love pretty things and I like, all, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to bringing my organisation skills that I'm actually really good at in my job into my weight loss life. Um, 
yeah, it'll be fun. I think it'll either be fun or I will decide I don't want to do it because I do all of that all day long and maybe I won't. So we'll see. I'm excited to do it. Let's put it that way. Um, and then the other thing um, that I'm really excited about is I've ordered um, a new DSLR camera. Um, it's a Canon EOS 70D and I've ordered it with an 18 to 135 millimeter lens. So I am at absolutely not experienced with photography or anything like that. Um, I'm definitely a novice, but I love taking photos. Um, my husband bought a really nice camera a few years ago. Um, and like whenever we traveled or would go to the zoo or whatever adventure we were having, um, I just, yeah, got really addicted to taking photos and, um, yeah, I just really, really loved it. And since we moved house a year ago, who knows where that camera went? I get if I know. Um, I've been really missing um, being able to take photos. Um, plus, this particular model has a really good HD video camera mode, um, so I can start filming using that. Although I, I reckon I'll probably it'll be higher quality, obviously, than what I'm filming on currently, which is just my um, Samsung Galaxy tablet. It'll probably be enough higher quality that I'll be like wanting to do like a full face of makeup before I hit record, which is kind of not the point of my videos. Like I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to feel pressured to put on a full face of makeup and, um, I didn't want to have to do that to feel okay about myself. Like I really do want to put the real me out there. Um, I know that doesn't make probably doesn't make sense because I'm still me when I've got makeup on. Um, but I didn't want it to be like, if then people saw me without makeup, they wouldn't be used to what I looked like. And I don't, do, do you know what I mean? If you don't, can somebody comment and tell me they know what I mean? Because um, when I have been wearing makeup consistently for work and then I don't wear makeup, Everyone in, in like inevitably comments and says that I like they ask if I'm unwell or something like that, and I'm like, geez, does makeup really make that much of a difference? Do I look that much better with makeup? So I thought it'd be better just you know put me out there and my well almost natural self. If I put my natural self out there, I'd have to put an age restriction on, on the video, and there would probably be some people pouring acid into their eyes because of the the blinding flat and it should look stop stop won't go there uh so that was all in my notes in terms of what i wanted to talk about um thank you for watching so far um my typical sort of end of my videos at the moment has been you know if you've got any advice for me i would really like to hear it i genuinely mean that um if you've got any questions about me or my journey or um, anything that I've talked about, um, want a copy of my wall planner, reach out to me. I'm happy to, to share an editable version of that. Um, yeah, I'm... Today is a good day. I'm yeah, having a really good, good time at the moment. So, yeah, until my next video... Um, I hope you all have a fabulous week and I will talk to you next time. Okay, bye!